Hey warrior, if you're feeling at all challenged about what to share on social media that actually creates interest, stops people from scrolling and starts a conversation with likes, comments, and shares, then let's talk about this in today's show. Well, hello and welcome to the Street Smart Wealth Experience. I'm Jackie Almer, and I help network marketers stop struggling with what to say, when to say it, where to say it, and actually make money when they post. We do all of this together in the Street Smart Wealth Academy. You can learn more at streetsmartwealthacademy.com. I'd love to work with you there. All right, so on today's show, we are gonna talk about how to create that compelling copy that converts. First, The show notes will have all these links and they're important so that you get clear on this very topic. You can get my video training on this process, how to write compelling copy and content that gets people to stop scrolling, read, engage, and want to know more about you. And you can grab that at streetsmartwealth.com forward slash killer copy. Again, it'll be in the show notes. This will make more sense as you actually go through it, and I'm not just talking at you on this podcast, but listening in is going to give you some concepts behind what I'm teaching, why I'm teaching it, and why it will work for you. So if you've been struggling at all with keeping your business alive during COVID, the pandemic, the craziness of 2020, and into you know the next few years, certainly as we continue to recover from what we've all been challenged with. If you're struggling with that, if you're interested in finding new people who are interested in you and interested in what you're sharing, and you wanna build true connection with them in the crowded space of social media, this is for you. If you're struggling to be seen, I get it, I hear you, I know you, I've been there. If you're struggling to get noticed, attract your ideal clients who are ready to pay and join. Again, I've been in that struggle as well. And just like you, I wanted more for myself, more for my family, more for our future. I wanted to release the stress that money or lack of it created in my life. I wanted out of a cubicle to free myself from a boss and to make purchases based on desire and not strictly price. And I wanted to be there at home with my children to contribute to the family budget and stop scrimping to be there as my parents age and need help too, and to make all of my choices based on freedom. And I was looking to collaborate with others who feel the same way, to create a team and a tribe. Um, And that's really what I'm sharing with you. I've done all of that over the last 21 years and more, and I'm here to tell you that you can do it too. I struggled in the beginning with effectively building my business online until I learned and implemented this number one thing. And it's the most important thing you have to master to have the success you desire, to have that dream business, that fabulous lifestyle with dream clients and team partners with ease and elegance in an effortless way that doesn't feel like you're annoying all your family and friends. So I have to ask you, does .com ever really feel like it's .complicated? There are so many moving parts you struggle with in the online digital marketing world. And today, you simply must stand out in a sea of endless competition. As sources for marketing offline have dried up and become non-existent or unreliable, you can no longer view digital marketing as an option. It is a must and a huge opportunity for you. I know, I hear you, you're probably struggling with mind drama over what to post, how to create awareness, interest, how to stand out, how to make sales, and all of that. One of the best pieces of advice I was ever given uh, came to me back in the year 2000. I had just taken my business online in 1999, and I bought a training course by a guy by the name of Jonathan Mizell, and he actually uh, spent a little bit of time on the phone with me on a free consultation call, kind of like I offered to you, and go to the show notes, click in, and you'll find the link to do that. He spent some time with me and basically told me two things. Number one, you have to build an email list. You have to build a list of targeted prospects who are interested in what it is you have to say, and you have to continue to drip content on them through your email series over and over and over again until they buy, die, or unsubscribe from your list. Now, I even said to him, I don't know what I'm going to write about. Who wants to listen to me? I'm a stay-at-home mom, you know, in my yoga pants, my workout clothes, running kids around. What do I have to contribute out there that anybody's interested in? And he said, I don't know. 
you're smart, you'll figure it out. Now today, I still am very involved with my email list, and hopefully you are as well with yours, But even if not, today we can transfer that skill set to our social media posts, to blog posts, to that conversation that we have offline with people. All of it is basically the same. So you might be asking the same thing. Who's going to listen to me? I'm not a writer. My story is boring. I'm not creative. I flunked English. Whatever it is, um, I understand your struggle. And if you're struggling with any of that, chances are you've resorted to a copy and paste scenario like everyone else in your company. It's spray and pray that you make some sales. I just wanna tell you to stop it. Good copywriting is a learned skill. It's a learned skill with a, a specific formula anyone, even you, can follow. And here's what you must know, okay? Get past the mind drama first and foremost, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this. Learn the formula because it's a skill, not an art. I've invested over $100,000 in my online and my mindset education, and I truly believe that I've learned from the best. So I wanna encourage you to create a content plan using the formula that I'm sharing, and then use that document over and over again for blogs, emails, and social media posts, and even offline as you're out meeting people. This is what creates sales, it creates that income, and it creates that lifestyle business. As I mentioned, I've put a lot of time and money into my education. I've learned from the greatest minds and top earners in the digital space. Brendan Bruchard is one of my top coaches. Frank Kern, Shailene Johnson, Russell Brunson, Marie Forleo. That's just to name a few of people who I've worked with, bought their courses, coached with, and have really studied what they do, how they do it, why they do it, and have come up with a replicatable formula for you in network marketing and any type of solopreneur business, okay? You wanna always be positioning yourself as a friend, as an ally, as a confidant, and you wanna be relatable with your story. You wanna share your strengths and your challenges. And on my website and in my content, one of the things that I always start with is, my story is like many, maybe even yours. Okay, and then a little bit of my story, my challenges, the different things that I share. I'm a mom, I never finished college, I lived in a tiny town without even a stoplight, and I was looking to find balance and blending between my business, my family, uh, and and creating what it was I really wanted. My hobbies, um, I share my hobbies, I was a tennis mom driver, a hockey mom driver, and I just, you know, kept at it, stayed consistent over time. And maybe like you, there was nothing about my own story that seemed exciting to me. But guess what? It resonated with others. I still remember speaking at an event in Las Vegas and I was standing, it was at the Mirage uh, Hotel and Convention Center and I remember standing in the very busy crowded area right out, right outside where the Beatles love um, show always was maybe still is. Um, I remember standing there and these two women came running across yelling my name, Jackie Elmer, Jackie Elmer. And I stopped and turned around and they came up to me and they were like, oh my gosh, we follow your videos on YouTube and we just love you. And we, we feel like we're sitting right there in the kitchen with you and we understand your story and you're just so relatable. And I remember thinking, bingo, that was exactly my goal. That's what I wanted to accomplish with people. I wanted it to be just like I was sitting down with them at Starbucks or in my kitchen or wherever it was. And, you know, over the last 21 plus years that I've been marketing online, I've sponsored over 2,500 team signups into a network marketing business. This is personal signups, all who came to me, all interested, all through the internet. And I built a multi-million dollar business. I've sold products and services in over 40 countries, and I did all of that while at home, running my children around and enjoying my life. And I like to stress this because, again, it's a learned skill set, and my goal is to teach it to you. So what we do in this video series is we create your hero's journey, and we assure them why you are the one to rescue them. And the basic formula of the hero's journey is this. You're here. You want to be there. You struggle to find the way to get there. You find a solution. You have some success. But there's also other struggles along the way. This is kind of you trying to do it yourself. 
then you figured it out, you found a mentor, you found someone to help you, and now you're here to help them and be their mentor on their journey. That's, in a nutshell, the hero's journey, okay? And we're gonna craft that together in a way that's powerful, even if you flunked English. We're gonna use headlines that are proven to sell and power verbs that tell a compelling story. So even if you write a basic story and you don't know how to jazz it up and make it sound interesting, I've got a formula that you can plug it into that it's going to make it extremely interesting. So here's my story in a nutshell. Now remember what I just shared about the hero's journey. You were here, you, so I was here, I wanted to be there, I struggled, I found a solution, I found a mentor, I had success and struggles along the way, I found a, more, a, a bigger program and a better mentor, I figured it out, and now I'm here to help them on their journey. So this is my story, okay? And as I mentioned, this is how I start. My story is similar to many, maybe even yours. I had a very fun and rewarding career in the airline industry, specifically in marketing. I traveled around the world on a company expense account, whining and dining travel agents and potential corporate gigs. In essence, I got paid to go to lunch and party. I should have said, I get paid for whining and dining travel agents and potential corporate accounts. In essence, I got paid to go to lunch and party. What a gig, okay? However, once my husband and I decided to start a family, and he's an airline pilot, I struggled with the same decision as many men and women. Should I give up my career and stay home and raise my children myself, or should I leave them in someone else's care? The choice was really easy. My family came first. But that didn't stop me from wanting to find a way to continue my career doing something from home. Okay, remember, I was there. I wanted to get here. So that's it. I wanted to find a way to continue my career doing something from home. I had read about other men and women who were doing this, so why not me? I began doing some serious research into what my options might be. What was out there that would allow me to be home with my children, still earn a good paycheck, and be flexible enough to fit in with my small children and a husband who's gone part of the week in his airline job? So why network marketing? Okay, this is the first solution that I found. My research kept pointing me back to the network marketing industry, and I was really not that interested. Although I didn't know anything about it, I had heard about it. You know, so-and-so's brother got into one of those deals and lost all of his money and all of his friends. Well, since I kind of like my money and kind of like my friends, I was certain that MLM was probably not for me. But nothing else was shaping up to be a fit either. While I was deep in research, a well-respected colleague of my husband's began talking to him about a business he was in, and maybe we should consider it too. Side note, okay, this is the first success that I found. I found my first mentor, found somebody to validate what I was looking at. One day, a set of audio tapes showed up at home, and my husband suggested I listen to them, so I did. Now, a lot of what I heard went right over my head, but the guy on the tape was selling the dream and I was in buying mode. I kept hearing story after story of average people who were achieving their goal and mine of financial and time freedom. This combined with the integrity of our friend was enough to prompt me to reevaluate the network marketing industry. A few months later, my husband and I found the right company for us and we jumped in with both feet. We began building a solid business and a second income and never looked back. Now here's where I run into struggles again. Fast forward nearly six years later, I now have two children, my husband's gone half the month still with his airline job, and I am constantly scheduling babysitters for group meetings, trainings, and one-on-one -on -one business presentations all over town. I've talked to my warm market and they had no interest at that time, and so I had no interest in going back to them to see if something had changed. Now, honestly, a few of them did join me, but I didn't want to keep going back to the same people. You may feel the same way. The business was growing, the money was good, and instead of being excited, I was unhappy, feeling like a fraud. I was beginning to feel as if I was lying when I told someone I had a home-based business. After all, I was never home, and although my kids weren't in daycare, they had plenty of babysitters. 
I was tired of warm market prospecting and even cold market through ads, networking events. The three foot rule could not have been less appealing. Mall walking didn't appeal to me. It actually made me sick. Putting sizzle cards on windshields may have worked for some, but it made me feel guilty like I was littering. So so those are some of the things that didn't work for me. Why the internet? Now here is where I found my next mentor and my true pivot to success. I was very interested in developing a system where qualified prospects would come to me. I wanted leads who were interested in a business, potentially interested in my business, who were serious. About that time, my company was launching personal websites for each of the representatives, and knowing virtually nothing about the internet, I decided it might be a good idea to learn a little more about it and how to market this new website. Knowing very little, I attended an internet marketing seminar designed to sell me space on an internet mall for about $2,000. Thinking I would get some tips and pointers, I went there anyway. I didn't learn a lot about how the internet works, but I did get an education. I kept my wallet in my purse and I didn't buy anything except the concept of online marketing. The guy on stage was spouting off statistics about the internet, how fast it was growing, how many people were currently online, and how many people were predicted to be online over the next five years. Who was online, what they were doing, and what they were buying online. Wow, I was blown away. I had no idea this was occurring. How could I have missed this? Now keep in mind, this was October of 1999, and Y2K was all the buzz. My question was, Am I too late to catch the internet wave? Was there even going to be an internet at the start of 2000 after Y2K? When I came out of the seminar, my head was spinning. If people were going to the internet to find answers and solutions, then I needed to get to the internet. After all, if one surfed the net looking for answers to health issues, travel questions, skincare needs, and so on, wouldn't one also go there, go there looking for a home business? Couldn't I put myself out there to be found when someone did go looking? Yes, I was convinced. I knew that this was the solution I'd been looking for. And I also knew deep in my heart that I was onto something big. I knew it like I know the sun will rise tomorrow. All throughout my career in network marketing, heavy hitters shared that in order to be full-time in the business and earn a big paycheck, your business has to be out in front of people like four to eight times a day. This was something I struggled with because my children's young ages, it made it very difficult. I could see, however, that using the internet, I could leverage my time because five, 10, 20, even 50 people or more could be viewing my business at the same time online. And they didn't have to be geographically close to me. I didn't even have to know them. This was terribly exciting to me. Isn't it to you to think of this possibility? I stopped off at the library on my way home and checked out every book I could find about the internet and marketing on the internet and websites. I'm taking our business to the internet, I declared to my husband as I dropped about 20 books on the table. And thus began the journey of my life. Now here's where I struggle again, okay? This is part of the hero's journey. I would like to tell you that it was easy, that I made my first million dollars in a few weeks, but it wasn't quite that easy. I'm being completely honest when I tell you that I knew nothing about the internet when I made this decision. I knew how to log on, navigate to Yahoo, to use it to find things, and I never could get back to where I started. I could also check email and reply, although not what much was ever in there. Spam hadn't really arrived yet. I did not know what a domain name was, an autoresponder, a URL, a search engine, an ISP, bandwidth, hosting, or any of the terminology. I didn't know what funnels were or any of that. I certainly knew nothing about putting together a website or marketing it. I had never even taken a computer class in my life. Six months and several thousand dollars later, I was well on my way to a PhD in internet marketing. And I feel very fortunate to have learned from the pioneers of internet marketing. These people were not network marketers. In fact, most of them despised network marketing because many of those networkers who were already online were overhyping everything. No one involved in network marketing was sharing what they were doing or holding some guru launch every 60 days. That internet marketing PhD served me well and I learned the mechanics of what needed to be done. And my network marketing business was looking good. In the first six months, I sponsored more people online than I did in six years offline. 
and I wasn't exactly a sponsoring wimp before. Once I sponsored the first person who found me, I was off to the races. Today, I'm still happily building a very successful business and teaching others how to do the same along the way. And I'm doing it with integrity, style, and on my own terms, something largely lacking online. I'll stop there with my story. But did you hear the formula? How my solution that I found changed everything? How I started and then I struggled and I knew there was a better way than constantly harassing my warm market? And I found the internet. I became the hunted and not the hunter in my network marketing business. Would you like to create the same experience and content for yourself and explode your business? I want to encourage you, go get that video series now and let's get busy. Go to streetsmartwealth.com forward slash killer copy. Once you learn this system and this formula, I'm going to tell you your whole life and your business will change. And you're going to find that lifestyle business that you can build with ease and elegance and attract the right people to you. If you like what you're hearing and learning on this podcast, you really should check out the Street Smart Wealth Academy. We take all of this and package it into a radical shift for you and the way you think and act in your business. And it's guaranteed. Do the work, get the results, or get your money back. What could be better than that? You can learn more at streetsmartwealthacademy.com. Until next time, remember this, hesitation, never cash a check, Good luck to you in your business. If you would like even more tips and training, I have a free gift for you over at streetsmartwealth.me. It's my guide, Unleash the Power of Social Selling. If you're ready to stop struggling in your business and develop a sales and social media strategy to attract your ideal clients, team partners, and create the success you dream about, grab the guide right now over at streetsmartwealth.me. You'll find more on my blog at streetsmartwealth.com as well as my Facebook group, streetsmartwealthschool.com and follow me on Instagram at Jackie Elmer. And make sure you learn more about the Street Smart Wealth Academy over at streetsmartwealthacademy.com. I'll see you on the next show.